This is my review of the Yiwa 926 soldering station uh, with accessories. Um, this is a not a sponsored review. I actually bought this with my own money. Um, <clears throat> so if you'd like to help me out, please subscribe to this channel or leave a like or even use the link to purchase one of these from Amazon and they'll throw me a couple shekels when you do. So I went to Amazon with the intent of buying a new Weller soldering station. Uh, one of my older ones had uh, broke and so I put one in my cart and expected it to ship and I got a notification from Amazon that it wasn't going to ship and not only that, the price just went up $20. So I said, okay, I'm going to look around and see what else there was. And I came across this soldering iron, which comes with the solder, a bunch of tips, a solder sucker, PCB holder, uh, tweezers, and it was uh, under 50 bucks. So I figured I'd give it a try. It's a pretty neat looking soldering station. 60 watts um, like I said it has all the I think it has seven different tips let's see yeah seven different tips which I probably only ever use three if that uh, has this the surface mount uh, the tweezers for doing surface mount work and the neatest part is the little circuit board holder arms. And it looks like these just kind of screw in on the side here. And act as extra little helping hands to hold parts as you solder them. So far, so good. <laughs> oh, this is a soldering iron spool holder, too, that comes with it. This is crazy. So I'm going to need to go get a screwdriver to mount this. Threaded insert is. I don't know why they gave me two screws and a standoff. I don't see any other way of getting that on there. Seems pretty good. Put my solder there. Okay, that fits pretty good. All right, so we're gonna find something to solder. Need a little wrench for tightening down the, the arms. Move this other stuff out of the way. First thing we're going to do is figure out which tip we want to use. So the tip that's on here is a good utilitarian looking tip. It's pretty much just a, a pointed tip, not too small. Um, go through the different tips they give us. Here are the other tip options. This is kind of a probably for heating wire up. Oh, there's a little tip holder on the back. This looks like a good chisel tip right here. I like chisel tips. They're, they're pretty 
easy to use, pretty universal. Uh, here's even a finer point, probably for, I would imagine, surface mount. Another, this looks like a smaller chisel tip. I like this one even better than that first chisel tip, so I'll probably wind up using that one. There's a right angle one. This is like a burning tip. This is like a hobby tip for carving your name in wood or something, or uh, I don't know, heating up a large area and filling it with solder. The other thing I noticed is all these tips come pre-tinned, which is very handy. This other tip looks like it's a replacement of the, the generic tip it came with. So you get two of these. I'm going to go ahead and put on this, this smallest chisel tip. It's not quite a point, but I like the little flats. Sometimes they come in handy uh, for installing headers. Put that one in the holder. Put this new chisel tip in there. We're ready to go. I guess the power cord could stand to be a little longer, but for the price, I'm not going to argue. All right, power switch here in the back. We're going to go for our target temperature of, let's say, 720. I'd imagine flashing means it hasn't got there yet. It's heating up rather quick, which is nice. Notice I went ahead and pre-wetted my sponge. First thing we're going to do is uh, solder this header onto this little FET switchboard. So we need four. Pop that out. And notice once it gets to the temperature, you see the little LED or the little dot there. I would assume that means that I'm turning on and off the heater to maintain that temperature. That's what that little thing means. Um, I don't know if I like the little rubber koozies on here, but I guess I'm going to leave them on for now. Maybe they're there to keep you from scratching uh, your circuit board. temperature yet. Or see if this tin is good at 720. Eh, it'd probably be a little better at 730. Yeah, just touch it there. Sucked it right up. And these two are the grounds. So you can see how big that patch of ground is. It's going to be hard to get this up to temperature to take the solder. That one took it. these so yeah there we go I'm sorry it wasn't the solder it was me uh, not realizing that we were soldering into something uh, that was absorbing all the heat you can see the size of that ground trace was huge it goes from way down here all the way up and fills the whole back of this board so all the heat we were trying to put into that ground pen was getting radiated back out by that trace and that's why we weren't getting a good uh, solder connection the next thing we're going to try and solder is I have this DC to DC converter. This will take any pretty much any DC voltage in and this little pot will let you adjust down and put out any lower voltage uh, based on as long as it's lower than the DC in. So I'm going to use this for prototyping. 
So I'm going to go ahead and cut these jumper leads in half and install them. Hopefully we'll have an easier time. Positive, in negative. Let's go ahead and just bring this other arm in here and use that too. Little arms work out pretty well. Clean our tip. Yeah, look at that. That went real quick. Trying to get every one of the little pieces of wire through the hole. It's kind of a pain. So then I'll just take a piece of heat shrink and slide it over and cut a hole out for the pot adjustment. And that'll be my DC to DC converter uh, voltage adjuster for hobby projects if I need 5 volts or 7 volts or 9 volts. I just put in something higher here and adjust out what I need down there. So for under 50 bucks this thing's fabulous. Um, I have no complaints. Um, this is going to be my new soldering station. I like it. Um, again, if this video helped you out, please subscribe or leave a comment or better yet, use the link down below and buy one of these for yourself at Amazon and they'll throw me a couple shekels for using the link and recommending them. 
Um, thanks again.